How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here, back with another video, and I was sick over the weekend. I'm very sorry about that. Lack of content coming out. However, as you guys are watching this, I am probably scaring my mom with my Honda Civic. She's always kind of talk smack about it. So I figured, why not show her what these little puppies can do? Anyways, today, I'm probably going to lose subscribers. I'm going to be giving you guys my most recent hot takes I've had. And uh, I think I think a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me. Anyways, today, sit back, relax. Whether you're listening to this while you're working or you're on break, whatever you're doing, let me know your thoughts down below. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in. And this one, right out of the gates, we're starting out playing with fire. First hot take I have is <laughs> electric cars are not that lame. What's lame is if we're forced to buy one. That is lame. Now hear me out. I know the first part of that sentence is kind of crazy, especially coming from me. Don't get me wrong. I love my gas powered engines. I don't think I would trade any of my cars for a Tesla. However, the cars themselves, I mean, like they're not horrible, especially like Lucid and some of these other companies making electric vehicles. They're, they're not all that bad. On paper, they perform pretty dang good, especially for like the luxuries that come with it. It's not half bad. Being able to just go fast whenever you want and not make a sound. It's like shooting a firearm with a suppressor, like it's kind of cool but if they force us they being the government if they force us to buy them and like whether we don't have an option we don't have a choice then yeah that's the lame part do i think if you go out and buy a tesla plaid you should just talk your smack and run your mouth no but like i said on paper you can have fun with the car and that's what i'm saying especially i think uh, i saw is it hyundai they have this electric car that has like manual shifting and stuff like that like it's a gimmick I mean, I'm stupid. I'd probably be entertained by that gimmick. Am I choosing that over my Supra, over my Mustang, if my Supra didn't get cooked? Over anything I have? No. But once again, on paper, it's not the worst thing in the world. I would rather drive an electric car than like an EcoBoost. No offense to EcoBoost owners, but I just would. If I can't have my V8s or a straight six turbo or something like that, then no offense. Um, I don't know. Maybe I spoke too soon. I mean, a, a turbo noise on an EcoBoost is probably still pretty fun and pretty satisfying. But I guess what I'm saying is, you know, if I'm already losing the V8, then I, I don't really care at that point. So, yeah, electric cars, they're not that bad. Just don't come and take my gasoline engine away or else we're going to have a Civil War 2.0. Anyways, yeah, first hot take. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, next one, stance. It's not all that bad. And I know by now you're probably thinking... Drew, this is obviously a troll video. I, I'm, I'm being serious. Here we go. Let me finish this sentence. Stance is not that bad. Takeovers are the real losers. They're the real clowns nowadays. Stance, hey, you know what? At least at the end of the day, they're car guys. Like, so what? It might not be my style, but at the end of the day, I would rather go to a car meet and see a bunch of stance cars than a bunch of fucking low IQ dorks spinning v6 mustangs and scat pack chargers and stuff like that that they stole like i would much rather go see a build that somebody did that is clean it's just not my style than a bunch of morons dropouts absent baby daddies you guys get what i'm saying i know i've shot my shots at the stance community over the years but they don't understand i shoot my shots at everyone i make fun of everything including myself they're just easier you know it's low-hanging fruit why would I not take a bite? Anyways, I think most of us can agree takeovers are the real dorks. Stance, on the other hand, I mean, that's up to you. Again, if it's not your style, eh, it's not your style. It's not really mine. I don't think I would build a stance car. But when done right, I don't think they're all that bad. All right, here we go. Moving on. Again, we're shooting shots at everyone. Bikers, motorcycle riders, this one's coming for you. Bragging about speed on a bike is not as impressive as in a car. But you're definitely crazy and what i mean by that is like you can go out like my dumbass and buy an r1 uh, you know just buy a thousand a liter bike easy you know 10 20 grand 30 grand if you got the money and uh yeah you could beat most cars like literally most cars not even a, not even standing a chance against you and you're in it like i said 10 20 grand 
depending on what you get. Again, if you buy a brand new bike, a brand new Ducati or something like that, yeah, you're in at 30, 40. But I bought my R1 with 3,000 miles for 14. And I love the bike. I haven't had the opportunity to really race anything worth it. But it's a fun bike. It's stupid fast. I would be stupid or crazy to want it any faster. That being said... I'm not going to go shit talk cars that are making 700, 800, 900 horsepower because I would probably beat them on my $14,000 R1. They've put way more money into that vehicle in order to keep up with something that weighs less than a quarter of the weight. Now, you're right. It is also making way less power, but power to weight. I mean, come on. They're not even in the same ballpark. Like I said, you're still crazy, still mad respect, but it's way more impressive to have like a thousand horsepower car than buying a 200 horsepower bike. Sorry, motorcycle guys, I'm just spitting facts. You could ask my boy Jake, who's been riding longer than I have and have had a handful of bikes. And he even said his RSV4, it's a fast bike. But when he saw me coming around him in my Mustang, he was just, he said that was one of the scariest things he's ever experienced because he's not used to going that fast next to another vehicle, let alone a Mustang. Yeah, I would have been clenching too. Anywho, yeah. Sorry, bikers. That one was for you. All right, this one, it's a little defensive, but I stand by it, and I will die on this hill. Swimming and street racing are not comparable. I'm sorry. Uh, A lot of people were getting super mad at me because I was calling out dorks who do swimming. If you guys don't know what swimming is, it's when you hop on the freeway in the middle of the day, maybe even during rush hour, and weave in and out of traffic as fast fast as you can narrowly missing innocent bystanders and you might say well drew isn't that kind of hypocritical you street race how how are you gonna sit there and call out swimmers when you street race that's super hypocritical dude no because when you street race if you're doing it right you're doing it on an empty highway in the middle of the night you are not doing it in rush hour traffic and i've said multiple times in my videos i will not race anyone on the street I will not race anybody in rush hour traffic. I don't care who you are. I will not do it. The street, if you want to run me, we have to be on a freeway or a track and there has to be nobody around. I'm not going to weave in and out of cars. I'm going to have an escape route at all times for both of us. Swimming, on the other hand, your whole purpose is to get as close as possible without hitting them, which is not always the case. Now, there's accidents from both scenes, if you want to call them scenes. But swimming is by far way more dangerous. It's not even comparable. There are dumbasses that street race on city streets in suburban neighborhoods, and they're dumbasses. They don't know what they're doing. But if you're an educated street racer, again, that sounds corny, but <laughs> if you know what you're doing and you and you actually care about other people, you're not doing that type of shit. Middle of the night, empty freeway, let traffic go ahead. Make sure you have clear lanes. And if anything goes wrong, it's only you getting hurt. And if you say, why don't you just do it at the track? Because SoCal likes closing down racetracks. So there's literally none. Okay, there's maybe one. There's Irwindale local to me. But that's open once a week and it's an eighth mile. If it was a quarter mile, I would be there every week. An eighth mile? None of my cars are eighth mile cars. That's like NA 60 foot time chasers. I don't know. It's not for me. Moving on, though, I feel like I spent a lot of time on that hill. Uh, Moving on, horsepower does not matter. This is something that I think I'm one of the few YouTubers that will admit. Horsepower does not matter. I like my horsepower, don't get me wrong. But the amount of people that come after me because my Supra made under a 1,000 horsepower is insane. Same with my Mustang. My Mustang and my Supra were both sitting right about uh, 930 wheel horsepower. And people were like, oh, that's not even fast by today's standards. Motherfucker, am I racing for money? Do I give a shit? I want a car that I can have fun with on the street. And even then, I'm pushing it at 930. Honestly, anything over 700 is too fast for the street. 700 wheel horsepower is a lot of fucking power. 500 wheel horsepower is a lot of power. There are so many cars out there that meet those requirements that people call slow. It's ridiculous. Now, if you're racing for money, obviously horsepower matters, but I don't race for money. I do not chase egos. I do not care if I'm not the fastest. I like my cars to run. I like my cars to turn on every time. 
I do not care. Will I turn up my Mustang? Yes. When my Supra is back, will it probably make over a thousand horsepower? Yes. But I'm only doing that because I want to. It's funny. Honestly, one of the only reasons why I started this channel was just to afford parts to race my cars. And I don't really race my cars anymore. I just thought it would be like side income. And I, look at me now. I'm neck deep in this shit. I'm enjoying it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I didn't think we would get here. Anyways, yeah, horsepower doesn't matter. I mean, I've ha I have more fun driving around my 400 horsepower Civic than anything else. I mean, that's still a lot of power. Don't get me wrong. It's a little 2,000 pound car. But even when it was making like 250, I was having fun. Like, you don't need you don't need that much power to have fun. However, um, when it comes to my ricer nices or anything like that, I will still clown you guys for being slow. That's just the Drew Peacock channel. Grow up. That's the point. Anywho, uh, last but not least, track your car no matter how slow. There are a lot of people out there that are afraid to go to the track because their cars might not run a good time or it's not, it's, it's not ready or something like that. Go to the track. You will see stock cars. You will see cars that you don't expect to see on the track tracking their shit. The first time I went to the track a couple years ago, there was a stock 2020 Honda Accord or something like that just running around the track, just, just doing his thing. And he, he was doing fine. You know, just go out there, have fun, push your car. Don't crash it. Just go have some fun. You might as well, especially if it's slow and it's a brand new car. You got that warranty. Just go out there and just go have some fun. You don't need a super fast car to go to the track. Try it out. You'll probably get a, you know, into a really expensive hobby, but it's, it's fun. It's worth it. It's better than going to the track with a fully built race car, or at least what you think is a fully built race car, and then still looking like an idiot. That's why I don't have a giant wing on my McLaren yet, because that wouldn't serve me any good. I'm happy I waited, actually, because if I put a giant wing on that thing, oh boy, it would have thrown off a lot of the uh, physics of the vehicle. So, got to dial in the suspension first, dial in the camber, get a maximum grip, and then, once we push the limits of that, then you toss on the wing. That's the correct way to do things. Anyways, I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Was this a useless rant? Maybe. Were they my hot takes and they were on my mind and I wanted to get them out there? Yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Am I crazy? Am I smoking that good good? Subscribe. And until next video, peace.